Hey guys, this is Ryan Knows Tech from techinform.us and continuing last week's trend with the Microsoft Office 2011 for Mac suite review, we're going to be taking a look at Excel today. Friday's video, last Friday that would be, was about Word. If you're if you're interested in Microsoft Word at all, it'll be I'll try to put a link down in the description. Or you can just go back to the channel and uh, organize by upload, and it'll be the day before this. Anyways, Excel, that was uh, loaded before, although I had quit it a couple seconds longer than that when you're going to be loading it yourself. Really nice piece of software. It's equivalent to the numbers uh, piece of software from the iWork suite by Apple. And here it is. You can choose between these templates, just like Word and uh, the iWork suite in general. You've got your basic Excel workbook, which is what we're used to in Microsoft Office Excel. You can make a pros and cons document, a to-do list, a time tracker, multi-page calendar, tons of different stuff here. 5x5 five five grid, plain grid, 10x10 10 10 grid, marketing budget, you name it, it's here. But we're just going to take a look at the Excel workbook. And there it is. I'll go ahead and make this full screen here so we can see the entire thing. And there it is. Nice layout. I think it's really organized. It's the same as Word and PowerPoint. It's going to keep uh, Microsoft Office Suite. The whole thing looks just about the same. It's got obviously some different settings and preferences, but the layout and the order and uh, organization really is is very good. So here's your basic, you know, spreadsheet. We're pretty used to this. This can be used for a million different things. And then up here under the Home tab, this is where you're going to have all of your basic formatting. Your font, your font weight, italic, underline, font color, size, your basic stuff. I mean, there's really nothing exciting under font and uh, alignment there. You can align it left, right, center. Really, in a box this size, you're probably not going to need to use a whole lot of that. You do have a paste and uh, fill button right here you can fill up left right or down depending on where you are and then there's a clear a clear button where you can do clear all formats contents and comments moving over to the right you've got some number stuff here you get a percent a comma stuff for adding up change if you're going to be working with money in here and then you can specify certain rows your own customizable row you can even come around here and just do random um, blocks whatever blocks you want let's do uh, A through D, 1 through 10, and we'll make those, notice all these things under format over here in the top right. We'll just make that about warning text. Okay, output, note, bad, good, or neutral. And there's tons of different things here. You've got themed cell styles you can use. We can do like a 20% count number 4 or accent 4 and... Uh, Good organization. I rarely use this application. If I did, I would just use normal. But if you uh, use it a lot and you have a lot of data in it, this would be super nice organization. Over to the right of that, you've got some cells information. You can insert rows and cells and then, of course, delete them. Then you've got some formatting options, as you can see there. Uh, your basic stuff is all here. Apple or uh, Microsoft missed nothing. But there's tons of other stuff that I don't think anybody would really use, like a theme. Who's, who's going to use a theme for this? You've got, you know... Uh, essential, executive, folio, grind. I don't know why there's so many themes here. It's a it's a business application, not a let's make it pretty application, but whatever, there it is. More themes for colors here. You can use all kinds of different colors. Genesis, I mean, it's quite creative. Up in the top, this is generic. This is going to be here no matter what uh, tab you're on. But you've got, uh, you can open something from a new template, open a workbook, save this workbook. That's what they're calling the spreadsheet. Print from here, cut, copy, and paste. This is kind of cool. Copy formatting from one location and apply it to another if you have different documents and stuff open. You can undo and then redo moves. So you maybe you should uh, you have some, everything open. You do that. You accidentally hit delete. Well, you're screwed. You want to go back and uh, get that back. This thing here that looks like that Greek E or whatever the hell it is, it uh, display the sum of the selected cells at the end of the section. So that's really cool. If you're going to add up a budget or spending of X in a month or a year or however you're going to do it, it'll add that up and total it at the end. Real easy. Then you can also, didn't mean to click that, <laughs> You can also organize stuff ascending, descending, cell color on top, font color on bottom, icon on top, or do a custom sort to organize your data any way you like. Then you've got this thing, display only the items that meet criteria that you specify. So if you're searching for something, you only want to show something in one instance, you can specify what criteria and then it'll only show that. You can show or hide the formula bar, which is going to be right here. You can put in formulas and whatnot and get... Uh, output of whatever you like. And then you've got this thing, which I don't know how to use, but it's doing something. There it is. Okay. 
you've got this formula thing up here that I wouldn't use. But if you're pretty hardcore into accounting or something, you've got tons of stuff in there. Not for me. You can also add images and media in general. Lots of content here. I don't know why this is a business document. Why would you want pictures in it? But I suppose you could make something creative with a grid. Yeah. And then you've got, uh, you can specify what percent. There's 200%, there's 50%. Depending on how much data you have, I'd probably work with that on 150%. I've never really made one of these that's very big. Under layout, orientation, size, all the stuff that was here in Microsoft Word, it's all here too as well. You can uh, view two pages at once or split it up into two pages like that. Speaking of two pages at once, down in the bottom left-hand corner, you've got that same control. So if you have multiple pages open, you could view them both and uh, zoom in on both and maybe copy stuff or total stuff or whatever you need to do, you can view two at a time. You can also set a background should you find that necessary. I really can't go over every single option here and how it works, but if you're looking for something specific, I guarantee it's here because there's so much stuff in here that I can't imagine anybody needing, but who knows? I'm not an analyst for this stuff. Insert tables with headers. Without headers, you've got table styles here. If this isn't a big enough table for you, I suppose you can go ahead and make your own table. There's uh, some colors and whatnot to keep that going. Make some drop-down menus in there. Charts, same as Word. You've got column, line, pie, bar, area, scatter, other lines. I mean, tons of different charts and chart styles, layouts. You can do pretty much anything with this. And I would add that it's really easy to do. I remember Office XP, Office 03, even Office 07 is pretty complicated, a little confusing. You've got multiple documents open to make something as simple as a pie graph. Like, uh, let's just make a uh, pie of pie. Here it is. Move it around wherever you want it, and then you can go over here to layout and format, and you've got even more options for it with text styles and transparency effects like glow, bevel, 3D rotation, reflection, and shadow. Look at this stuff. Perspective. There are hundreds of different themes and changes that you can make to this, which is cool. We don't need that. Then you've got smart art, which is uh, something I also mentioned in the office word review. If we put in like a process then we've got this thing, we can just click and put our text in, and if you're a science teacher or a biology teacher, you could make processes from here. But I think Word would be a better tool for that. Click to select, delete key to remove. Under formula, you can do like money signs and all kinds of stuff here, switch reference, insert name, you can make different tables, then you've got that auto sum thing we talked about before, Min minimum, maximum, average, sum, and then count numbers, which is neat. You can insert a lot of stuff, database, information, logical. I don't know what most of this stuff is, I'll be perfectly honest with you. But if you do, it is here. Data, more stuff. You've got filters, you can sort. Uh, you've got analysis stuff, you know, FileMaker, HTML. I, who's going to use this? I mean, this is just ridiculous. If you're looking to use this as a business tool and you're thinking between iWork and Office for your Mac, I don't know why you would choose iWork because it is incredibly basic and unprofessional compared to this. If you're looking just to do it for school or light business and you, and you like me, don't know what any of this means, then iWork is fine. I think it's faster. It's definitely cheaper. It's maybe easier to use, but I think this is very, very powerful software and really just unnecessary for most people, I would say. But that's pretty much what it looks like. We can go ahead and bring that down. It looks a little big, back down to 100% right there and then I showed you before the two-page view nice software you've got even more stuff up and in, uh, insert if you're used to it this way you still have your your uh, stuff up here you've got spelling thesaurus language dictionary it's all there data there's your sort and filter pivot table window options edit view you know files basic stuff and this is going to save if we do a save as it'll save in a dot xlsx which is the um, powerpoint or the powerpoint the excel 2010 format readable by um, I work 09 and later, as well as Microsoft Office 2007 and later. If you're looking for compatibility to maybe use it on an Office XP machine, Office o, or uh, I work 08, excuse me, then I would recommend the um, .xls. You may not get some of the effects. It might totally screw up your document. So bring both them to work. Email them both to you. Um, but uh, there are nice options for that. So that's my review of Excel. I apologize. I'm not 100% knowledgeable on, well, 95% of these useless features. But nevertheless, it is cool, and it would make it real easy if you needed this and you knew how it worked. 
And that's it. Thanks for watching the video. Our site is techinform.us. My personal Twitter is twitter.com slash James R. Schultz. The business Twitter is twitter.com slash techinformus. And then you can catch us live on Tuesday nights between 8 and 9 p.m. Eastern time on ustream.tv slash techinformus. Thanks a lot for watching this video. Please subscribe if you like the comment, leave a, or like the video. Leave a comment below, thumbs up, and I'll talk to you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye-bye.